Preach all right, sing it. I can't do much good at it, but I try to make a joyful noise. Do a little preaching here if you don't mind. I share a little bit. I uh, sing a little bit about Paul's ministry and what all he went through, and sure. sometimes getting in the Ministry ain't really the bed of roses, is it? No, sir. Right. A lot of stuff that preachers go through and a lot of things you have to deal with. But, I mean, we're not any different than anybody else out there. We're, we're all made out of the same mud. Right. We all have the same temper. We all have the same temptations. Yes. You know, one thing, I don't know about you preachers, but the older I get, the, the more I realize it's a struggle every day to walk with God. Every day. And the more and more I find out that He's a great God. And this old flesh yes. is a real battle. Amen. And I think Paul fought that. I, I, I mean, that's something that, that gets down to the grip. It gets down when you really realize that was, that was good, brother, talking about how man needs repentance. I mean, man, <laughs> we're the most sinful creature in the world. I mean, we, brother, we're the ones out there doing all the killing. We're the ones out there doing all this, the, the stealing and, and lying and rebelling. I mean, that's man. Yes, sir, and Jesus said it pretty well when he told the Pharisees and all those that said, you know, you're not of my father. You're the father. You're your father of the devil. Yes, right, man. And, and, and the works of your father, you do. Yes, sir, brother. So I, I'm not surprised when I look out and I see wicked men that are doing the things they're doing today. Communism, is, is, it goes hand in hand with what man wants. Yes, sir, brother. I mean, we're, we're, fighting, we're fighting communism, brother. That communism, that's... That, that's that's a Satanist. You guys realize Karl Marx is a Satanist, right? A Luciferian. Yeah, that's right. So that this ain't just some political idea that, right. that we're dealing with. This right. is a this is a, an ideology of, of Luciferianism. It's, it's Satanism. Amen. You know, two things that don't go hand in hand is communism and Christianity. <laughs> Brother, it's that's one butt heads. And we live in such a time of yes, God. deception. Amen. A time of deception. Yeah. And I believe that this religion is sweeping our nation. And it's this ideal of, of, of statism and such. Right. And I'm not here to win people to a certain side of politics. I'm not here to right. win people into the devil's game. Paul said, I, 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 I'm here to preach the cross. Amen. To preach the Gospel. This world is looking for a man to come and, and solve all the problems and fix all the things, but reality is only God can fix what's wrong with man. Because why? It's because it's sin. It's sin. And we've been conditioned. We have, have, have been just pretty much spoon-fed all this stuff to where nowadays we just feel like, well, this is the norm. Everybody's doing it. It's... Acceptable. It's just it's just a normal thing. But it, yes, it, it is the norm. Sin has always been sin. Man's always right, been right. sinful, right? Things yes, things never change. But just because something is the norm, or something is is just what's being practiced, doesn't necessarily mean it's right. And I believe that in these latter days that we're in, it, it's it's a challenging thing. Because there's such a pulling force out there that, I mean, what we once was fighting and, and holding off, it, it seems like it's becoming stronger. There's a darkness. 
And I kind of spoke a little bit yesterday about it, and I want to deal with a little bit more today. If you would turn to 1 Timothy chapter 4. Paul writing Timothy says, Now the Spirit speaketh expressly. The Spirit is speaking. He's expressing. He wants to get this to, to, for us to know and, and understand this. You ever hear someone say today, oh, I, just, I can't understand why people are thinking the way they are. You sit and you say, well, how can this be? How do, how do people fall for this? Why, why are people doing these things? The Spirit is speaking and He's saying that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith. Now, I said last night, that's a sad thing. Because this is not talking about somebody that never was there, nobody that didn't have the faith, nobody that... that it, it said some shall depart. They had to be there with it in order to depart from it. That's right. They, they had to be a part of it, and, and, and now, they're, now they're departing from it. I think sometimes we underestimate the importance of the battle the stakes that are at stake this body this this flesh it it is a temporal thing it is something that it, like we heard story, it, it's going to turn to dust the worms are going to eat it it's going to be buried and tapped under the sod but your soul your spirit that's the that's the eternal thing that's the most important. And right now, brother, the, the, the devil and, the, and the, the demons that's in this world, they are working overtime. That's right. They're working overtime. And they're trying to get those who are in the faith to depart from the faith. And if they can get us to depart from the faith and get us to quit preaching, and do, then the other generations, it's in the back. You know, I thought about what it talks about the children suffer. And Jesus said for, for a woman to give birth, He says, and I, I feel sorry for, for, for that baby, for, for the pap that's giving suck. Why, why is that, brother? I'm telling you right now, there is no more of a dangerous time than to be a kid in this world. Right. You don't hear very many preachers talking about the dangers that kids are facing today. That's right. And there's an evil out in this world right now that's preying upon children. Again, it's Satanism. Brother, the devil has been killing children from the time where they were casting them in Moses' day into the river. They were feeding them to the, the crocodiles. Brother, they were taking them to, to, to the altars to burn. And brother, they were sacrificing them to the devil. It, it, it's been an ongoing thing. The children suffer. But not only are the children suffering physically, but spiritually. There's a lot of lost, a lot of lost people in this world. Kids today don't know what a Bible is. The only thing they know about Jesus is they make fun of Him. Kids are so confused. The devil starts in at an early age on the mind. It's where it starts. It starts in here. And it goes in here. Because see, this, this, this inside us right here, it's already programmed to be wicked. Rather, it's that sin nature. You get this lining up with this, and this is justifying this, and reasoning with that, rationalize that. Brother, that's how the devil works. You know, man can rationalize anything. Right. Justify anything he wants to. That's how the devil works. But we need to be on guard, just like the Apostle Paul says. We, we need to be armored. We need to have the armor of God, where he said in Ephesians 6, because, see, we're not wrestling the physical thing yet. We're, we're wrestling the spiritual, the principalities, the darkness, and all. That's where the real battle's taking place. 
What's this gentleman out here doing? Take a picture, look like. The real battle is a spiritual battle. Yes. Brother, we're, we're dealing with the, 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 the devil, is, is the Pandora box is open. There's some things that are, that are being said by well known ministers that I know that you scratch your head. Yes, sir. Exactly. Yep. I mean, Billy Graham not too long ago said that Bill Clinton would make a great evangelist. <laughs> well, now, would he have said that back in his prime time when he was preaching the tent meetings and, and the crusades and the coliseums? I, I don't, but brother, in these, these last days, he told Timothy that, that, that some shall depart from the faith. They're getting out of the Bible. They're not preaching the Bible. Right. They're preaching psychology. Yes, right. That's for sure. See, the devil came to him and he said, "You know, you know how to reach man. You got to reach him psychologically. Uh -huh. right. You got to make him feel good about himself." Yes, yes, yes. See, the, the, the devil makes you feel good about yourself. Mm -hmm. It's that pride. And then, and then you feel like, well, you know, hey, I, I'm not such a bad person. I can do these great things and. And see, that's the, the, the goal in life is to be happy, right? That's, that's what people say. I want to be happy. I want joy. Uh -huh. Yeah. But see, what the devil is lying to them about is you can't be happy and you can't have joy without salvation, right. without Christ. Amen. Amen. These spirits are seducing people in, in, into believing wrong things. We were talking about love this morning and and, and, and brother, you know, that's all the devil talks about is, is love. But see, there, there's another thing with love. There's truth. Amen. And one of the seducing things that's taking place is we're wooing people in with love. Well, we hear is, you know, all this love and, and, and God forgives all these things. And, 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 but see, there's, there's not that repentance message. No. No. There's not a changing message. Yes. But it is a seducing message because, hey, it sounds good. Right. Brother, it sounds good. Hey, who's against love? Hey, is that not what the, the, the communists are teaching? That, hey, we need to love one. But, brother, you start speaking about a different kind of love, they're mad at you. Yes, sir, brother. If it ain't their love, it's, yeah. uh, brother, then, then, you're, then oh, you're on the hit list. Yeah. Mobs, riots. I believe these spirits are just taking control. They're flooding the streets. Have you seen these people in these riots? Yeah, yeah, right. That's scary. Absolutely. That, 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 that's a scary thing. Have you, you you've seen these politicians? I mean, that, just that that woman Pelosi, the the stuff that woman, the the evil that comes out of that. You're telling me that that ain't a demon in there? Right. Brother Babylon's filled with every unclean bird. Yes, sir. These are unclean spirits. Yes, they are. Yeah. Thing down there in Lynchburg, that, that, that's bad. Stuff that's taking place down in, in Texas. So you, you, you got a, a person down there that's that, that's preaching a, a, a fall, thousands, thousands of people. Believe in a false gospel. Paul told Timothy, he said that they're going to depart in giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Seducing spirits. Right. They're seducing spirits. Brother, temptation is rude. The thing that, that, that's driving most people, and we're seeing the poison it is, 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 is this, this television entertainment. Brother, that's, that's the, the devil's got that locked up tight. Sure. Talk to somebody about the Bible, and the first thing they're going to reference is, well, I saw a movie one time about that. 
If you're basing your doctrine and, and, and stuff off a movie, you're in trouble. Right, right, right. right. But everything that, 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 that is coming in the, 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 this form of, of, of entertainment and, and television, and you know, what is a television? They're telling you a vision. Hollywood, that, that's, that's a thing that was back in the pagans. and Brother, it, it's, it's, it's a brainwashing thing. It's an opening of the box of the mind. Brother, the devil's been let out of the box into the brain, and, that, and that's what we're dealing with today. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And if you go back and you look and you, you, you see it over the years of television, all the programming that took place, they... It started in kind of subtle. First, we started getting the Andy Griffith show. Oh, that's a good, wholesome values. You ever sit and wonder what happened to Opie's mom? Yeah, right. See, there, there's the first attack on the nucleus family. First attack on the nucleus family. Then you get over into another generation, you start seeing the, 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 the bubbling idiot of a dad. You know, he's always the butt of the joke. That's, that's the attack there. That's right. That's, a, that's, that's this, this, this spirit of rebellion that's coming out. The rebellion against what God has established. One of the first institutions, which is family. God created Adam and Eve, they were a family. But the devil has always been attacking them. And with, with these ideas and the, 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 these spirits and these places and taking, brother, it's shaped the minds of the people we're dealing with today. It's wicked. And then came the news. You know, I was a kid. I, I, I remember that every great once in a while you'd see maybe five, six o'clock in the morning you'd catch a news program. Then maybe at noon there'd be like a small report or something. And then... I don't know, five or six o'clock, you catch the evening. That, that'd be, and then late, late at night, there might be another message. That was about 24 7 now. Right. 24 7. And not only are they not just, they're not just reporting something, they are trying to persuade. Yes, right. They're programming. That's right. They're programming. And these devils and, and, and stuff that's in there, brother, they're, they're, they're pushing this stuff into the minds of people and, and they're, they're eating it up. Yeah. But nothing's being said. We are living in some prophetic times. Yes, sir, brother. I, I mean... <laughs> Brother, you, you, you could, you, I, I wouldn't believe 10 years ago what I'm seeing today. Right. The wickedness. I mean, these people are talking about taking babies at birth and killing them there on, on, on the table and just being fine with that. We'll just keep comfortable until they die. That's wickedness. That's a doctrine of the devil. Child sacrifice. Right, yeah. And preachers, they ain't got enough backbone to stand up and say, that's wicked. So, that's... COVID come along, and we seen what the church was made of, didn't we? Right, yeah, sure it is. Real quick. Wiped them out, didn't it? Yeah. Wiped them out. He says that speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. Yes. Much, much of a conscience there, is there? Well, we don't see anything wrong with this. That's, that's not how we're going to build a purpose driven church. Yeah. Right. I, I don't have to have a purpose driven, I, I've got a Christ driven, Amen. gospel driven. Yes, amen. A mission driven. <laughs> uh, I was uh, in Springfield, Missouri, and me and the wife was looking for a church. You know, when you go off to Bible college, you're trying to find a church to go to. 
And we thought we found a good little church we wanted to go to, and we're there. And wasn't long, one of the old piano player, she said, "Won't you go out and lunch with me and some other school mob that she had there?" And we we go out, and she starts talking. She asks me, she goes, "Well, what do you think about this new book? It's purpose driven church." I said, "Well, it's, it's garbage. Make good fire kindling." That was not the answer she wanted. <laughs> She was drilling the preacher about getting it. She was on his case, and she thought, well, I'll go to the younger preacher, and then I can just get this. Bro, that book is filled with trash. That's right. That, that, is, that is filled with trash. That is not the, the doctrine of, uh, doctrines of the Bible, bro. That's, that's the philosophy of men. That's the doctrine of devils. And if you study and see what's taking place in this last day with these churches and their program and their preaching, and yes. brother, it all ties back to that stuff. Yes, it does. Under the same teacher that Rick Warren and all them men, uh, 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 what was that brother out in, in the Crystal Cathedral, Roberts? Yeah, sure, sure. All them guys. It's all tied together. Yes, it is. And that's the teaching you're getting today. Yes, it is. So it's all about this enlightenment. It's all about education. Bringing you, you are enlightened. Uh -huh. Same stuff, the Egyptians, brother, everything they practice, you, you go to the Library of Alexandria, and, and, and brother, you look up and you see the, the, the symbol of the serpent, and everywhere you look, you see the serpent. Uh -huh. Right, right, right. It's all underhand. The teaching, the 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 the, the, the the religion that's coming in and brother all going back and that Catholic thing's growing. Yes, it is. That's growing. He's, he's in the, and man, I'm telling you what, I've never seen such wicked. All the popes have been wicked, amen. Yes, one of them been wicked. Yes, sir. But in this last day, can you imagine having a, a, a man that's supposedly, we all know he don't represent Christians, but to this world blindly he does. And to come out and say that it's okay for man to lay with man. Brother, his conscience has been seared with a hot iron. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In this day and age, it's acceptable. And these young people, they've been conditioned to accept it. Yes. You see what's taking place? Yes. yes. It's been interesting times. But the challenge that we're facing as pastors today is to take the truth that God has said, that God has preserved, and try to get it to break through the minds of this generation today right, right. that is so indoctrinated yes. with these seducing spirits and the devil's doctrine. I'm sure when you guys were younger, you could talk to a man about the Bible they had some kind of understanding of some sort. Sure. Take, take a child today that's just coming out of high school and try to talk to him about the Bible. Yeah. Not a clue. Brother, you got to start all the way back in Genesis to even build a foundation. <laughs> right. right. You go all the way back to Genesis to build a foundation. And, and then you got your hands full right from the gate. Why? Because some fool has told him there is no God. Some fool has told him that, that, that this earth is not eternal. Some fool has told him that your soul is not eternal. You've got to start from the very bottom and work your way up. And then you take a religious man today and you try to witness to him. Now you've got to prove to him that he's a sinner. That he's not as good as he thinks he is. And he needs to be saved. And he's going to look at you and say, oh, you're just a legalistic Pharisee. Right. Yeah, right. It's challenging times. Yes, it is. It really is. And this ain't by accident. This has all been by plan. And if you don't know, us, us Baptists, we're like the cowboys. We're the, we're the dying breed. Right. <laughs> we don't fit the ecumenical train. Right. It, it's... I, I've been around people and the first thing they say is, oh, Baptist. Well, I used to be a Baptist. Well, 
It used to be, I mean, you weren't a very good one. If you was a good one, you'd be one now. One thing I like about Baptist, we get it all right here out of this book, this King James Bible. Amen. And that's what keeps me straight in yes. this path. Yes. And, and, and just like John said, there, there, there are several different types of spirits out in the, in, in, in the tribe. But how do I try them, brother? I try them right through here. They have to pass this. Right. Yes. This is the plumb bob. Right. So you guys probably don't think I'm a young guy. I probably don't know a whole lot about plumb bobs. I know a little bit. I had a building trade teacher that was teaching me how to use a plumb bob. And how that thing just dropped and it, it was straight, it, it was true, it, it, that's where it dropped. That's where, that's, that's where it lay. Well, this book, that's where it drops. That's, that's where it's at. You can't sway it. It's, it's got to line up. Yes, sir. And if it doesn't line up and it don't drop straight, brother, it's off. Yes, sir. Right. And if it's off a little, it's off a mile. Yes, sir. If it's off a little, it's off a mile. I was trying to warn Timothy. He said, it, it, there, there's going to be things that's going to come your way and, and it's going to try to sway you. You're going to see others leaving. You're, you know, just like Paul seen in Nicodemus, he, 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 he left him. Yeah. Loving this world and things, he, he, he left him. But, but at one time, he was on the right path. Yes, he was. And he says over here into. Verse 16, chapter 4, he says, Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. Yes. Take heed to thyself. You know what? Don't ever think to yourself that, hey, I'm better than anybody. It can't happen to me. Right. right. Well, pride comes before the fall, doesn't it? Yes, sir. Pride comes before the fall. Yes, sir. Sometimes we've got to be careful to feel how proud we are. Right. Take heed to ourselves. Where are we at? Where am I getting this at? Am I getting it from, from what's popular? Am I getting this from what's the new thing that's in? Or am I getting this from God's Word? Is this something that my forefathers practice? You know, I believe God's given us, I always say when I preach, I love the Old Testament. It, that's a testimony of the men that God has used. And we, we base a lot of our, our learning and our understanding off of what these men have done. Right, sir. Right. And God has called many a men before us to the ministries and the things they. So we, we use them as a base to, 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 to learn from. Yes, amen. And you'll find out that those men throughout the times they had, there was always something that was coming down the line that they were having to fight, whether it be Calvinism, whether it be baptismal regeneration. Infant baptism. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I go to a meeting and I hear about infant baptism. I'm hoping to hear the, the sermon I want to hear about infant baptism. How it's gateway to hell. Yes, sir, really, man. How it's damning the child. And, and rather it does, I had a man I worked with as a Catholic. And, and when we talked about salvation, the very first thing he went back to was I was baptized as a baby. I said, well, good for you. It ain't going to help you. Well, all right. well, you mean my salvation ain't good enough? Well, brother, you didn't have salvation to begin with. You just got a water bath. No. Well, they don't like it when you tell them their baptism is no count. No, they don't. You know, it's hard to do, but it's the truth. But they've sat under some type of doctrine of, of the devil. Yes, sir, brother. And infant baptism is a doctrine of the devil. Yes, it's right. it's, it's, sure it's is. wicked. As Baptists, we cannot accept infant baptism. Never. Amen. Some of my forefathers were whipped, beaten, and imprisoned over that. That's right. They were shamed. Yes, sir. I remember reading a book about religious liberty in, in, in New England, and, and when they were, were made to go to these congregational churches, they see you didn't have the option. Well, I'm not. I'm not going to go to church today. You went to church. Yeah. You paid a tax. People, people forget that we weren't really as free of a place as what we thought we were. Right. God bless America, hey amen. It's, it's been a great country, but brother, she's, she's had some hiccups. Right. And religious freedom has been one of those things that us Baptists know far too well. Not yeah. Amen. But back then when they said you baptized your baby, you did that or you faced 
persecution. Yes, sir. That's a doctrine of the devil. Yes, sir. That's right. But they're buying into it today. And you wait and see this Catholic thing's going to be, it's, it, it's, it's moving big. Yes, it is. This idea that all roads lead to heaven that's being taught today, that's a doctrine of the devil. Yes, sir. Right. And it's very seducing. I mean, why would I want to go sit down and, and hear what I have to do this, I can't do this, and all that, but yet I can, you know, the Pope says I can do whatever I want to. I'm, I'm good to go. I'm going to heaven. It's enticing. Yes. It appeals to the flesh. Yes, it does. But what the devil ain't telling you is there's reasons why God has boundaries. Yes, sir. Those boundaries ain't set to keep you from having fun. Those boundaries are set to give you a good, fulfilling life. Mm -hmm. It can be blessed. Amen. But the devil makes it sound like it's an imprisonment. No, brother, it's not imprisonment. It's actually liberty. I'm set free from that bondage. I'm not chained to that beer bottle. That's right. I'm not stuck at home because I have to sit and drink because I can't go out and do something. Uh -huh. I'm not token on a tobacco stick right. like a freight train. Brother, I, I, I'm free from that. Amen. I'm telling you, this thing, you know, I, I, I have the, the ability to, to love my wife, my family, and, 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 and to put them as priority. But see, the devil doesn't want that. He, he wants community first. Uh -huh. It's all about the greater of the community, mm -hmm. of man. Right. Brother, I can't make man. <laughs> Man's on the downhill slope. Interesting times. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's right. Interesting times. Forbidden to marry, commanding to abstain from meats which God hath created to be received with thanksgiving of them that believe and know the truth. Yes. <laughs> Don't want you to get married. I'm telling you, it's an attack on the institution that God has given us. Absolutely. Family. That's right. Why does the devil hate the family? Well, brother, I'm telling you right now, it's a perfect picture of the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Right. Amen. That's the true attack. Everything about Christ, the devil attacks. Yes, sir. The family and the church. Yep. And I like government. And it's an institution that God's given. Sure. And it's a good thing. Yep. But the devil's attacked it. Yes, sir. And he's made it his game. Yes, sir. We got a election that's coming up, and I believe this is a very important election. Sure. I mean, there's a lot on the line that people don't realize. That's right. This ain't a left and right thing, brother. This, right. this is <laughs> this is evil communism. Yeah. Against a less evil statism. You can throw the rocks and the maidens at me, but and what I mean is, is, is really, truly, as God's people, we really have nobody to represent us. That's right. And I feel it, it, it's like when Jesus came and those disciples and all the people they were looking for this king to come riding into Israel and free them from the Romans and. And do all these things, brother. He, he he came to do something more important. He he freed them from sin. He freed them from the devil. Amen. And I'm looking forward to that Savior coming. Amen. Get me out of this mess. We are in a mess. Yes, sir. And it's not just us. It's everywhere. Yes, it is. I was talking to. A, friend of mine it's a Mennonite and I said are you guys experiencing people not wanting to go he said 
Back in the day, we had people come and said that they can't even get people. I thought, I'm sitting here thinking, wow, I thought men and not Amish were religious people. They can't even get them in the church. They're dropping like flies. Sure. They're dropping like flies. Look all around you, it's dropping like flies. Sad. Yes. It's sad. Jesus said, Will there be any faith when I return? Amen. Will there be any faith? This little bit's good. You know, we hear about that grain. If you just had faith, even that of a, of a mustard seed. Yeah. That's not a whole lot, but it's enough. Amen. In this day and age, brother, if you just got a little bit, that's that's good. Yeah. I mean, God wants you to have a, a, a whole lot of it, brother, but just a little bit in this day and age, that's good. And as time's going by and, and things are getting waxing worse and worse, I don't, I don't know how anybody could be a post millennialist, but anyway, it's high. <laughs> it's waxing worse and worse. That's when we need that faith. Yep. To keep us straight. Amen. To keep us straight. And that's why he said, Take heed thyself and in thy doctrine continue in them. For in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. Amen. We need it to help save ourselves. Amen. And that's why when we have these meetings here, I need this. True. I need I need every bit of it, brother. Yes. So when you say, so am I going to? Am I dead? No, I need every little bit I can get. I'm a preacher out here. I, I sit under Brother Jones. He, he, I give him a little bit, uh, which he, I'm young, so. But I need every bit. And when my people out here, when we minister to each other, we're ministers. Sure. See, it ain't all just us preachers. It's, it's the layman too. It's important. Us preachers, we need good laymen. We need good people to keep us going. Yes. It's a, that's, that's why the church is in it. Hey, Jesus said, it, 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 upon this rock, I'll build my church. Amen. I will build my church. Yeah. And everyone that God has called and put in that part, every stone was handpicked. In place, fit neatly together. We're all stones put together. Yes, sir. Every stone is just as important as it. Right. We're all built upon that chief cornerstone. Amen. We need Christ. Yes. To save ourselves. Yes, amen. And them that hear me. You know what's sad? When places like this are left, there's no one here, it's vacant, and there's no one to hear. How shall they believe on Him? Hmm? How shall they believe on Him? And how are they here if the preacher's not? How are people going to hear the message if there's not a messenger to give a message? I feel this day and age that if God's calling someone, brother, they're, they're looking, they're trying to hear for that voice in the wilderness. Uh-huh. I mean, it was a dry time all the way up to John, from, 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 from through the Maccabees up to, to John the Baptist, brother. It was a dry time of, of hearing any prophecy. Right, right, right. Could you imagine the thirsty years when they heard the words of John the Baptist out in the, Where'd they go? They went out to the wilderness to hear John the Baptist. Amen, that's right. And he was preaching a message. Yes, he was. And he was called specifically by God to be the one to bear that message to, to prepare the way for the Lord yes. Jesus Christ. That's right. Amen. Amen. Just like John, we're out here in this wilderness right now. Yes, we are. We're preparing the way. The Lord's coming again. Amen. He's coming again. And we're fighting every day to yep. keep our heads in straight. Yep. And so I think we need to pray for each other. Amen. We need to pray for each other. Yeah. I've got a... Bible that I had preacher sign. Oh, you know, he's in signatures in here. He's preachers. Yes. Been a lot. And some of these are dead and gone. Sure. A lot of them I prayed for. Sure. When I get going cross-haired and I start thinking differently, 
I'm not the only one that does that. I sit and think about these guys. I thought, what would they think? What would they think? Timothy probably looked back and thought, well, what would the Apostle Paul think? Sure. What would he say today? Brother, you don't think there were things that came to him that time? All the Gnosticism and all that stuff that, that, that was before them? All the, the Judaism they wanted to bring back into it? Brother, they're confused today. We got some that think they're Jewish. Blowing yeah. horns on Saturday. Exactly. Taking feasts, following blood moons. I don't get caught up in that. That's what I know. The Bible says that no man knoweth the hour. No man knoweth the hour. Study all the blood moons you want. Look at all the feasts you want to do, what not. Brother, I'm telling you, he's going to come like a thief in the night. Amen. Anytime now. Yep. Like John says, come quickly, Lord Jesus. Amen. I'll tell you something else can't come any more quickly, and that's that good food back there, brother. So <laughs> go ahead. Closing prayer here. Let's go ahead and leave. Maybe we go ahead.